welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms presenting the three lectures on dynamic of machinery having unit number 1 the title the single degree of freedom systems with the free vibrations and having the topic undamped free vibrations uh, before going to the topic what is the basic of this the vibrations is a typical phenomena having the oscillations occur about their equilibrium positions i look at the animation is being shown here the mass being attached to the spring and it will be oscillate with initial displacement from the rest position or the can say equilibrium position and it will be the oscillate between the point minus a and a now again the main topic that is undamped vibrations it means Mm, the no energy loss during the these vibrations whether it is a intentional by adding dampers or uh, unintentional through the drag or the frictions so the figure showing the mass and the spring system i mean the roller is attached to the mass so there is no resistance to the motion uh, while the vibrations do is carry out so without any application of any particular force then the damping what is the damping here now on the left side we have seen some uh, i mean animations having the piston cylinder arrangement is there and in that the fluid is provided for the damping purpose this is again it is called as viscous damping so what actually the damping is here it is a resistance to the motions of the vibrating body it is called as damping now with the uh, resistance provided uh, to the vibrations it create the uh, less number of amplitude means what without damping uh, we are having the much amplitude and uh, with damping we are having the less amplitude now some um, schematic diagram is showing here the spring mass system along with the damper is attached and this damper showing the damping effect towards the uh, vibrating system now the comparisons of the damp and undamped vibrations look at this first is the damp condition second is undamped situations now with the damp oscillations the amplitude is goes on decreasing at the start it is being high and it will be goes uh, comparatively low as initial uh, because of the resistance provided to by means of the damping system again in the second uh, comparison that is undamped uh, system the throughout at the initial to end it is nearly having the constant amplitude it is called as undamped vibrations now what are the types of vibrations is basic now the vibration is according to actuating force first that is a free or a natural vibration second is a force vibrations again free are classified into two categories the damped and undamped again similar to the free vibrations the force vibration is also the classified as a damped and undamped vibrations now according to the trusses in the supporting media that is the first one the longitudinal longitudinal vibrations second is transverse vibrations third is the torsional vibrations now undamped torsional vibrations what it is there so it is quite simpler one uh, see the figures the one shaft is attached to hinge and uh, at the bottom of this shaft we are attaching the disc and uh, this having some moment is given to you with uh, the length l and the twisting moment is being happen after the application of the torque over the disc with angle theta and uh, the vibrations occur due to the twisting of the shaft that is called as what torsional vibrations and again without application of external force is there it is called as undamped uh, torsional vibration means what the torsional means what twisting moment of the your shaft Uh, along with the axis uh, then again with angle theta and if there is no resistance uh, during that particular vibrations that is called as undamped so combination of all these the undamped torsional vibrations now look at this diagram diagram is showing uh, the shaft and cam mechanism and cam mechanism will be twisted after the application of some particular forces so again it is one of the example of undamped torsional vibrations Now some of the methods 
for measurement of this vibrations that is a uh, first that is the equilibrium method second energy method third is relay method now the equilibrium method equilibrium method is quite simpler one the inertia forces plus uh, external force that is equal to zero now this is algebraic sum means what inertia force that that is force which is being uh, with the body which can again its original positions that is inertia force external force we are applying some external forces for the vibrations or it may be the unbalanced forces so the addition of these two is become zero in the equilibrium methods so again secondary energy method total energy being constant so what are the energies available for this vibration that is uh, the kinetic energy that is one half mv square and uh, the potential energy in terms of the uh, one uh, into k into x so one half into k into x that is uh, the spring uh, potential you can say the spring energy in terms of the potential energy being total energy is being throughout the, it is constant one and what about the relay method the it is the maximum kinetic energy is equal to maximum potential energy so this i mean the both are simpler so what actually done in this uh, methods of the uh, vibration method so each and every method at the end we are calculating the uh, the frequency time period so with that frequency and time it, time period we can measure the vibrations or we can predict the what kind of the uh, nature of the vibration what uh, the um, the range of the vibrations that we are having so this is all about your energy methods uh, the equilibrium method and the release method this is uh, the uh, simpler one so thanks to all for watching this video thank you so much